you're at 78.4 exactly. Okay, I'm going to call that good. 10-4. Okay, I'm going to run some gas, uh, BG gas feed system. Copy that. Okay, I have normal seat, uh, setting at 60 cubic feet per minute. 10-4. Let's keep an eye on my uh, main BG tank. Uh, I'm going to close the uh, visor. Let's get pressure into the suit. All right, 10-4. Before you do that, I want to go ahead and tell you, as soon as we do that, I'm going to throw on the uh, ZG program, and one of your first tasks, and I'll remind you of that, is to go ahead and turn on the CO2 pumps. Copy that. Lowering visor. Gas flow? Good pressure. Good pressure is increasing. Fantastic. ZG program coming on right now. Helmet hold down cable, please. Take it in some. That's great, sir. Thank you. You got 1.5 PSI. What the hell was you? 1.5 PSI. Jill, I would like you to turn on both the uh, scrubber pumps. Something just opened. We're hearing kind of a gas uh, leak. As you're, check your uh, your uh, light port. Light port is closed. I opened my suit valve so that I could reduce suit pressure. Okay, ten four. Uh, just uh, remember that if you're going to do that, try to let me know if you can. Yeah, it was going out of control, so I had to do it quickly. I'm still, uh, I'm hanging out at the decimal 5 PSI. I'm going to turn on both scrubbers now. 10-4. Okay, it's very loud with the scrubbers on, so you're going to have to uh, be pretty loud in your sandwich. Will do. Is this good? I will try to speak as loud and clearly as possible. Well, that sounded good. Maybe you can ensure that, the, uh, that my uh, walkie-talkie is on maximum volume. It is. Okay, very good. I'm going to raise the pressure again. 10-4. Confirmed. Suit's holding well. My ears are clear. Suit pressure coming up to 2 PSI. Suit 
who has excellent mobility on their left arm, excellent mobility with the left arm. Confirmed right and left arm. Negative, excellent mobility in left arm, excellent mobility in left arm. You are losing pressure really fast. Did you open up your leg cord accidentally? I cannot inform you when I'm going to change my pressure. 10-4. Increase my shift pressure again. Here I go. I'm going up to 2.5 this time. 10-4. And afterwards you'll dump, right? Say again. And after you're done with the... Uh, with bringing up the pressure, you're going to dump the gas again, right? I'll go up to 2.5 and then I'll drop again. 10-4. Everything okay on your end? Fantastic. Okay, going up to 2.5 and I'm going to come down again. He's feeling good. Everything's good. 1.6, 1.7. No leak. No leak. It seems that my suit pressure is a little slower than yours, but that's fine. I got 1.9, copy that. That's two PSI. I have excellent mobility with the convoluted arm. Coming up on two PSI. Two PSI. 2.1. Going to go up to 2.5. Confirm 2.5. Something just went ahead and uh, popped. Oh, hold on. Sounds all right. I'm going to manually dump my suit pressure. Manual suit pressure dump. And four. Everything okay on your end? That's completely unexpected. Yeah. My helmet hold down cable popped. The uh, helmet came up, got me in the nose. I could no longer see my dump valve, so I had to manually activate on my right side. Half copy. 10-4. I'm reading you loud and clear. Can you hear me? 10-4. It's very loud in here. If we could do a helmet hold down cable again, please. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. We're getting some great numbers with the CO2 uh, monitor. It's considerably higher on my end. I'm reading around uh, 2,486, uh, roughly. Yeah, very good. Okay, um, I'm going to try and go up to 2.5 again. And um, if uh, Sarah could just keep her eye on the whole damn table, uh, it popped off because of that angle problem that I was describing before. Could you repeat? 
I would like to go up to 2.5 again. If Sarah could watch that helmet hold down cable, if it pops, she could pull it down again. Yeah. Check. 10 4, she uh, reads you. Thank you. The other thing is, if it pops before pulling it down, she should give me a second to dump my shirt planter. I'll copy. Okay. We copy. Okay, very good. Going up to 2.5 again. You happy with my CO2 numbers and my biomedicals? Yep, we're getting data off of it on both of them, which is fantastic. Okay, very good. Here we go. Going up to 2.5. Reading you loud and clear, but did you try to uh, transmit a second ago? Coming up to two PSI. Ten four. Excellent, excellent. Mobility on the new convolute elbow at two PSI. High pressures now. Let's watch that helmet hold down cable. Two point three PSI. Helmet hold down. Down again. Yeah. Jumping gas. Yeah. Stand by. And four. Oh, that's like being punched in the nose. Yeah. Helmet ring got it. Came right up, got me in the nose. <laughs> I guessed as much because your heart rate jumped to 103. Well, that's very interesting to know that the uh, helmet hold down cable in this configuration is no good to us about 2 PSI. 10-4. Okay. I don't think that the uh, helmet hold down cable can be improved tonight. So I don't think we're going to get very far with high pressure tests tonight. How copy? You cut out in the middle, but it seems to be uh, true. You just lost your ear monitor. I'll copy that. Just lost the ear monitor. Um, nope. It just looks like it came back on. You happy with your CO2 data? Getting good CO2 data, and it looks like the ear monitor uh, came back on. It just flipped out for a second. Okay, I'm reading 2,000 now on the uh, CO2. That suddenly has increased a lot. It has been pretty high the whole time, which uh, and it's actually getting higher, which kind of concerns me. Yeah, I don't notice any effects. I'm feeling fine, but uh, I wonder what that's about. I think uh, because the helmet hold down doesn't allow me to go any higher than about 2.3. Um, I think we've pretty much done what we need. I know that we have a much better convoluted elbow. This left elbow is giving me good mobility at that high pressure, much better than the other one. How copy? Copy that. Okay, uh, I think I'll uh, shut down the pumps and uh, come on out unless you have anything else. That's just fine. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, save the uh, programs in the middle, though because that way we don't lose any of the uh, data. But one thing I've noticed is since the, hel the, uh, since the little helmet pull-down cable ex uh, explosion, the CO2 numbers have been rapidly dropping for some reason. Well, after the helmet goes out, uh, the cable goes out, I open my suit dump valve, my manual suit dump valve. Presumably that dumps a lot of CO2. That's 
seems to be pretty consistent. Okay, well, we learned a lot. That's really great. I'm feeling good. All right, give me a second to go ahead and uh, close everything, and then we'll go ahead and uh, get you out. Fantastic. I have it all right here. I have all the data logged right here. You can go ahead and uh, get out now. Okay, I'm going to start by turning off my cover pump. Uh... Are you a self Say again. Are you a self a lefty? Negative. All right, 10 4. I just wondered why you did all the bits and pieces with your left hand and your right hand next to the, this, it stays down here. Oh, maybe because he always wants to transmit. Um, it makes sense. So I. Hmm. That's just interesting configuration. If we didn't do things differently, it may, uh, it may have been better to put it on the side. Yeah. Well, How are you feeling? That was great. That was a good test. I agree.